just seemed like a great idea. It was interesting, it was new, and um, we had fun doing it. There's a group of us from the office that would do it, and we went our own ways, and um, it was fun, and it seemed like it was a worthwhile cause. Back to basics. If you enclose anybody within a space, they start to respond to the space. So here it's like people are relaxed, they're sloping, they're pulling their trolleys, they're holding their children. And compared to the city, which is, um, you know, they're wearing their suits, they're getting to work, it's a very different body language. There's so much vibrancy at the ground level and bright buses, bright signage, bright people. And this otherwise very wide road, which is, you know, by itself is pretty dull actually. But as soon as you put people in it, it is fully vibrant. Yeah, so that's a great message about architecture. When you're drawing, you tend not to see what, what you normally would see. You start to notice uh, angles or intersections. You try to make colors talk to each other. You get caught up in the rhythm of a line, and after a while, uh, it's not really clear what you're looking at. You're looking at a, a physical, three-dimensional drawing in front of you, as opposed to trying to represent something real on a page. It's a, it's a very, it's a very strange experience, but it's a very enjoyable one. I think it's good to keep people drawing. It's such a good skill. It's, I mean, uh, it helps me think as well. It helps me explore things, which I couldn't do um, just without sketching. I really like the idea of mapping the city through a series of images and being able to sort of trace a path through the city that way. Um, so that was a really interesting idea. Also the idea of taking a, a snapshot in time. So trying to get everyone to come together on one day to draw the city all on that same day and hopefully catch some of the uh, ephemeral things happening around it was, uh, it was quite inspiring. Yeah.